New at six tonight, a parasite is affecting Colorado's moose, making them sick and lethargic. It's known as the winter tick. Matt Croshell is live in Grand County for us tonight. Matt, this little pest is really a big concern. And Karen, it seems like it's just an extra bad year for ticks in Colorado, especially this little bug that targets the moose, and it's uh, really causing problems for the populations up here in the high country. Summer's providing much needed relief for moose populations in Colorado, who are now under siege from blood sucking ticks. They parasite the moose and they just cause a lot of irritation. Parks and wildlife officers are concerned. They're worried next winter could be even worse. Several moose that we've had that, that you can have, um, it's hard to get an estimate as to how many number of ticks, but I've heard anywhere from 10 to 35,000 potential ticks. The winter tick is a common parasite throughout North America, but it's grown in both the number and the impact the last several years because of the temperature changes and mild winters, and it's starting to take a toll on Colorado's moose. Next year, because of the mild winter that we've had this year and the early uh, melt-off that has occurred, there's probably a lot more ticks that have been successful at laying their eggs in that soil. The clearest sign of a moose affected by ticks are patches of hair missing from its dark brown coat, exposing the animal's bare skin. Sites, it's something that, that we definitely um, kind of keep, keep an eye on, and it's always a concern. Um, here locally, we have not seen any population impacts. Moose in parts of Canada and the northern New England states have faced mass die-offs because of the winter ticks in past years. So far, no evidence that that is happening here yet. If there would be a die off here in Colorado, it would be hunters that would see the immediate impacts and it was hunters who paid to have moose introduced back into Colorado. We're live tonight in Grand County, Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.